Hey guys, hope you all are doing great. So I have come up with the topic of learning, which is getting to know about English idioms and also to implement the idioms in our day-to-day -day conversations so as to improve our communication skills. So let's dive into our video. So yes, developing communication skills can help many aspects of your life from your professional career to social gatherings with your friends or to your family life. In today's hectic world, we rely heavily on sharing information, resulting in greater emphasis being placed on having good communication skills. So good verbal and written communication skills are essential in order to deliver and understand the information quickly and of course, accurately. So being able to communicate effectively is a vital life skill and should not be overlooked. Whereas in contrast, a poorly delivered message may result in misunderstanding, frustration, and in some cases, disaster. So there are two cases, literal language and non-literal language, which is figurative language. So literal language means it uses the words exactly according to their conventionally accepted meanings. You can say like it's a dictionary meaning of words. Whereas figurative language is Words together have a meaning that is different from the dictionary's meaning. It helps the readers to form a strong mental image. And this can be used to make your conversations interesting and dramatic. Figurative language involves descriptive phrases and sentences to convey a message and means something other than what is literally being said. So this helps your complex descriptions to be visualized easier and some ideas that are difficult to be understood and it shows a deeper emotion or connection. Have you ever felt like your colleagues speak in riddles? It's true that native English speakers sometimes talk a mile a minute, but by knowing idioms, it will help you keep up with them. So let's see what an idiom is actually is. An idiom is an expression that cannot be understood from the meaning of its separate words, but must be learned as a whole expression. Wondering how? Let me explain. Let's get to know with a few idioms. It's raining cats and dogs, which means it's literally not raining cats and dogs. It is figurative indication that it's raining very hard. You can frame it up in a sentence. The children could not play cricket because it was raining cats and dogs outside. Let's see another one. A piece of cake. So literally, it doesn't mean a piece of cake. And figurative speaking, it is a very easy task. And coming to the example, Niharika found the project to be a piece of cake because it was incredibly easy. Let's see the last idiom. Head over heels. And figurative speaking, someone is madly in love. I have been head over heels about my boyfriend since the day I met him. So these are some of the idioms. You can promote an innovative way of communication. So for example, if you're applying for jobs or looking for promotion with your current employer, you will almost certainly need to demonstrate your talent as well as your good communication skills. For suppose, instead of saying, I'm excited, I could say I'm over the moon. Similarly, instead of saying exactly the right thing, you could say exactly. You hit the nail on the head. And that sounds more interesting, right? And last but not the least, for those interested in learning a new vocabulary, it tailors your language to your audience. Listen effectively. Present your ideas appropriately. Write clearly and work well in a group. And for all this to happen, you need practice. So by teaching yourself how to communicate more effectively, you will interact in a more constructive and productive manner, making the workplace a positive and thriving environment. So make sure to practice by reading various articles, novels, or books, and by listening to television, radio, or conversations. And of course, speaking to your colleagues, friends, or family members. Thank you for watching, guys. 
please do subscribe to my channel to get notified about my upcoming educative videos. Stay safe, stay healthy.